He was a legendary leader, respected by his men, and feared by his enemies. Some say he was the best Civil War general to ever live. His name? General Thomas Jackson, better known as the Stonewall. But who was Stonewall Jackson? What made him so great? And where did he get that nickname? Let's find out. Thomas Jackson was born in 1824 in Western Virginia. As a child, Thomas faced many difficulties. His father died when he was just two years old, and the Jackson family became very poor. As a result, Thomas did not get a very good education. However, Thomas Jackson was eager to learn. In 1842, at the age of 18, he enrolled in the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. It was the finest military school in the nation. At first, Jackson struggled with his lessons, but he was determined to succeed. Jackson studied late into the night, reading by candlelight. Jackson's hard work paid off. He graduated from West Point at the top of his class. In 1846, Jackson was sent to fight in the Mexican War. He was a young lieutenant, ready to prove his skills in battle. At war, Jackson became a remarkable leader. He took command, showing excellent judgment in battle. His troops admired him, and his superior officers respected his opinion. By the end of the Mexican War, Jackson had earned the rank of Major. Major Jackson was a skilled soldier, but in 1851, he took on a new challenge. Teaching! Jackson taught artillery tactics and physics at the Virginia Military Institute in Lexington. As a teacher, Jackson was strict and often unfriendly. Many of his students did not like him. However, few denied that his lessons were brilliant. Some of Jackson's battle tactics are still taught in military schools today. When the Civil War broke out, Jackson joined the Confederate Army. He did not wish to fight against the Union, but he could not stand by while Virginia, his home state, came under attack. In 1861, Jackson led a small brigade at the First Battle of Bull Run. During the battle, a fierce Union attack threatened to break the Confederate line. Jackson ordered his troops to stand firm and hold their ground. Together, Jackson and his brave men fought off the Union attack. From a distance, another general saw Jackson's heroic stand. He yelled, Look! There is Jackson! Standing like a stone wall! At that moment, Jackson earned his nickname, Stonewall Jackson. The story was retold in newspapers across the Confederacy. Almost overnight, Stonewall Jackson became the South's first war hero. In 1862, the Confederacy sent Stonewall Jackson and a small army of 15,000 men to defend the Shenandoah Valley in western Virginia. Stonewall Jackson was an aggressive commander. He rarely backed down from a fight, even when outnumbered. In the Shenandoah Valley, Jackson's small army won five significant battles against much larger Union forces. The secret to Jackson's success was speed and discipline. His soldiers were well trained and ready for battle. They moved quickly, taking Union forces by surprise. Thanks to Jackson's brilliant maneuvers, his small army of 15,000 men defeated more than 60,000 Union troops in the valley. Stonewall Jackson's campaign was a huge success for the Confederacy. After winning in the Valley, Stonewall Jackson joined General Robert E. Lee's Confederate Army of Virginia. He became one of General Lee's closest friends and most valuable commanders. General Lee depended on Stonewall Jackson's bravery and fierce fighting style. Jackson fought bravely at the Second Battle of Bull Run, the Battle of Antietam, and the Battle of Fredericksburg. By 1863, he was the most famous leader in the Civil War. The name Stonewall Jackson brought hope and pride to people across the South. He was the Confederacy's first war hero. But in May of 1863, tragedy struck. At the Battle of Chancellorsville, Stonewall Jackson led a scouting mission against Union troops. His unit returned to camp after sunset. In the dark, Jackson's own men mistook him for a Union soldier. 
they opened fire on their own general. Stonewall Jackson suffered three bullet wounds. He was rushed to a nearby field hospital. To save his life, the surgeon amputated Jackson's left arm. After several days, Jackson's wound seemed to be healing, but he quickly fell ill. Eight days later, Stonewall Jackson died of pneumonia. The news of Jackson's death shook the Confederacy. Southerners mourned the loss of their favorite general. When General Robert E. Lee heard the bad news, he was devastated. Lee said, I have lost my right arm, and I am bleeding at my heart.